Okay, so uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, maximal surface it's in Lorenz Minkowski three space. Uh, uh, it, for me, it's hard to realize that if anybody have questions. So after each subtopic, I stop uh, a little bit and say if is uh, does anybody have questions or something like that. So if you have questions, please ask in the, those periods. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's start. Uh, so yesterday, I briefly uh, gave a review of uh, minimal surface theory in Euclidean space. So today, I'm going to give a talk about maximal surfaces in Lorentz Minkowski three space, in contrast to minimal surfaces. Okay, uh, let's start. So uh, today. Uh, I, for a moment, I'll think about hypersurfaces as well. So let L of n plus one be n plus one dimension Lorentz Minkowski three space, uh, Lorentz Minkowski space. And uh, this is the inner product of this space. So the last component is just minus. And let U be a compact set in Rn uh, with this local coordinate. And an immersion f from u into l of n plus one is space-like if the induced metric is positively definite. Okay. <clears throat> also, we set uh, h n sub plus or minus as this. So uh, this is a hypo two two seated hyperboloid. The upper half is uh, plus, then the lower half is minus. And let f be a space like immersion. And then the new, the unit normal vector field along f. So this means uh, new is a map from uh, u into h, h plus n, or new is a map from u to h minus n, such that uh, new is perpendicular to each uh, tangent vector. And uh, the length, I mean, in the product of new and new is minus one. So new is a time-like vector. You need time-like vector. Okay. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go to first and the second variation of the volume. Okay. Uh, let u be a uh, uh, let f be a space-like immersion from u into l n plus one. And ft a variation of f. I, I omit the definition of variation of f, but it is, this is the, exactly the same as yesterday's talk. Okay, and nu the unit normal vector field on u, and h the mean curvature of f, and dv the volume element of f. <coughs> then we have uh, the first variation for formula as as follows. So this is so the sign here is. Dif different from the yesterday's talk, but only this sign is different. Okay, so everything else is the same. And by this formula, we can prove that uh, <coughs> the volume, the first derivative of volume for any, uh, the first de derivative of volume vanish for any variation of f, if and only if h is identically zero. So uh, again, this direction from right to left it is trivial, but from left to hand side to right hand side, uh, we can show uh, because any variation, the condition is any variation, this first derivative vanishes. So then we can say uh, H is vanished identically. And also, second variation can be computed as follows. So uh, now the sign, this sign different, and this sign is different. So these two signs are different, okay? So, but now this, uh, from this, you can see the second variation cannot be positive, right? 
and I give now definition uh, of stability. Uh, suppose that the first variation vanishes for any variation. Uh, that means H vanishes identically. Then F is stable if the second variation of F is always positive or always negative for any non-trivial variation. And since uh, new is time-like, and n plus one's component of new does not change, so we have the following. So uh, <clears throat> let F be a space-like immersion with H vanishes identically. Then the second variation of the volume of F is always negative. That is, F is stable and has maximal volume. So uh, space-like immersion with H equals zero is called the maximal hypersurface. So, so uh, in this reason, we say this surface is maximal surface, not minimal surface. Okay, uh, maybe I stop a little bit here. Uh, does anybody question, has questions? Uh, how I can find? Does anybody have a question? Okay, if no question, then can I continue? Yes, please, please okay. continue. Okay, okay. So now I, next I go to the graph hypersurface. <clears throat> uh, let you a domain Rn with this local coordinate and let phi a function on you. Then the mean curvature of the specialized graph hypersurface satisfies this equation. So with this condition, this condition stands for the, the surface to be space-like, okay? And uh, the sign here is changed, uh, different. So minimal surface case, this is plus. And now this is minus. Okay, and uh, we define the, this equation, the maximal hypersurface equation uh, with this condition. And when n equal two case, we set u1 and u2 equal to x and y, then the above equation is equivalent to this equation, this PDE. So well, with this condition. And here, the sign here changed, and also sign here and sign here are changed. And this equation is called the maximal surface equation. Okay. So and um, this equation is still elliptic PDE uh, with this condition. Without this condition, it, this is not uh, elliptic anymore. And uh, Bernstein types problem, uh, as I mentioned the Bernstein problem yesterday, for a uh, maximal surface case, the graph maximal surface phi defined on the entire R2 must be a space-like plane. Okay, so this is the same result as a uh, minimal surface case. But uh, so to prove this, this condition is quite important. Of, uh, in fact, without this assumption, there exists a nonlinear phi, entire nonlinear function phi. For example, we uh, set phi the log of cos x minus log of cos y. Then this satisfies the maximal surface equation without this condition. And uh, phi uh, is defined entire R2. Okay, so this condition is quite important. And then the minimal surface case, uh, the higher genus version, uh, hypersurface, uh, Bernstein problem is solved uh, affirmatively for n is greater uh, less than eight and uh, negatively for n is greater than or equal to eight. But in this maximal surface case, this theorem is always true for any n. So the graph maximal hypersurface defined on entire Rn must be hyperplane for any n. So this is quite different. Okay, and the other global properties, let me explain. Uh, a complete maximal hypersurface must be hyperplane, so which is proved by Karabi or Chen Yao. Uh, 
in contrast to minimal surface case, uh, so complete maximal surface must be a hyperplane. Also, uh, there does not exist no orientable space like hypersurface. This is uh, not only maximal surface, but uh, any space like hypersurface should be orientable because uh, unit normal uh, uh, the connected component of uh, unit normal is uh, two two seated hyperbolic. So uh, if if the if if f is immersion surface is immersion, then the surface space like surface is always uh, orientable. Okay, uh, and then uh, if you have any questions, please ask. Any questions, anyone? Okay, then we can continue okay. if there are no. Okay, okay, so I will go to the wireless thrust type representation. Now uh, we consider the, uh, n equal to. And let f be a uh, <coughs> maximal surface from u into r. Uh, oh, sorry, this is L3, of course, sorry. L3, then with uh, isomer coordinate of f, that is, uh, this f is conformal maximal immersion. Then the wireless type representation formula is known as follows. Uh, this f can be written with this in this way, where g is a meromorph function and eta is uh, homomorphic one form. So the minimal surface case, this sign is different. This here is minus, and this is plus. So only a small change. But then the first fundamental form and second fundamental form are given this way by using g and the eta. So here, some, this sign might be different, but it does matter. And the big difference is this. So minimal surface case, this is plus but in this case, this is minus. And also, uh, let u be the unit normal vector field on u, and sigma, the stereographic projection from eight two plus two unit disk. Then g coincides with the composition of this sigma stereographic projection and the unit normal. So this g is called the Gauss map of f. <clears throat> and so, as I mentioned, uh, complete maximal surface is uh, plane, space like plane. So, it is natural to think about the uh, maximal surface with singularities. And uh, as I know, uh, these uh, kind of important results for maximal surface with singularities before 2010. Uh, for example, Kobayashi, Osamu Kobayashi, uh, considers cone-like singularities, and the studio and the Romero uh, give a notion of generalized maximal surface, which is maximal surface with singularities. Uh, they allow some uh, uh, curves of singularities and, or isolated singularities. And in 2000, Lopez, Lopez so, um, uh, introduced uh, Consider the Riemann type, Riemann staircase type maximal surface, while Arias, Chavez, Mira consider a building problem. And Fernandez Lopez, so one consider the modular space of maximal surfaces, isolated singularities. Also, Fernandez Lopez uh, consider constructed periodic maximal surfaces. And Imaizumi Kato uh, consider the notion of flux of maximal surfaces, and Martin Mihari Yamada constructed bounded maximal surface, and so on. So many. Yeah, and the recent 10 years, uh, there are more. But let me explain some, some of these results. Okay, so uh, we start, uh, we begin with the, uh, define the notion of the max phase. A uh, max phase is a uh, roughly speaking uh, maximal surface with singularity. And this is a definition. Uh, F is a max phase 
if there exists an open then subset W of M such that uh, restriction of F into W is a conformal maximal immersion. And uh, DF is non zero for any P. So uh, if F is immersion, the rank of DF is always two. And the singularity, singular set, uh, at the singular point, uh, rank of DF is less than two, but uh, we assume that rank of F never zero. So at singularity, singular point, rank of DF is always one. Okay. And the max phase, this by this definition, uh, this is always positive definite. So this is not the first fundamental form of F, but the first fundamental form of minimal service uh, with the same viruses data. So uh, the, the first fundamental form of F is here minus. So first fundamental form can degenerate, but this is always positive limit, you can see, you can see. So the zeros of eta is not the singular point of F, okay? So the singular point, if the P is a singular point, then modulus of P, G, GP is equal to one. So this is correspond to this corresponds to the singular set of F. Okay. And then so since we have uh, singularity, then we again and we then define the completeness of the surface as follows. Uh, max phase F is complete if there exists a compact set and there exists symmetric two tensor T such that T is identically zero on M minus C, and DS plus T is uncomplete uncom Riemannian metric. So this means a uh, singular set is compact in the domain, and then we modify a little bit the, the metric by adding this T, then we, got, we get the complete Riemann, Riemannian metric. Okay, then this complete max phase situation, Mehara and Yamada uh, obtain some global properties of max, max phases. Let F be a complete max phase and G and eta the wireless data of F. Then there exists a compact Riemann surface M bar with uh, finitely many points in M bar such that M is biholomorphic to M bar minus these points and uh, also G and eta, which is defined only on M, uh, extend meromorphically to M bar. So uh, this has never, this never has uh, essential singularities at these points. Okay, so it is a similar result to the minimal surface case. And these removed points uh, correspond to the end of the surface. And we can uh, prove that uh, there exists there does not exist a uh, compact max phase. And then uh, they prove the Osaman type inequality. Uh, let F be a complete max phase and G eta the wireless data of F. And then, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, degree of G and the uh, uh, topology of M bar satisfies this inequality. So this is exactly the same as uh, minimal surface case. And also equality hold if and only if each end is properly embedded. Okay. Ah, okay, so uh, this is kind of a global property of max faces. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. So you had mentioned that P1, P2, Pn has to be ends of F. Always the punctures are ends? Yes, yes. There's no other possibility, right? No. Yeah, they have to be ends. Yeah, yes. okay. Any questions? Okay, if not, we proceed. Okay. Okay, so now uh, I... We explain the singularities of max faces. So uh, before do that, uh, I introduce three types of singularities. Uh, so this is cusp H. This 
this is cusp rate. So this cusp, yeah. So this is standard example of cusp rate. So and uh, next, this is we introduce uh, swallow tail. Swallow tail is, is this point. This point. So here, this is cusp rate. Cusp rate. So cusp rate is a, a regular curve in R three. Then the where cusp rate cusps this point. Cusp rate cusps. This point is called swallow tail. Okay, and uh, uh, singularity, these are uh, independent uh, notion of, independent with the metric, so we just consider the standard R3 or affine three space. So uh, this point is swallow tail, and also this is cusplar cross cap. Uh, so this point is cusplar cross cap. So this is cusplar H. And also this is cusp rate down, but only this point. So cusp rate cross like like this. So this this cross point is called cusp cross cap. Okay, so these are standard standard uh, examples of these three types of singularities. And we define uh, two maps are right right left equivalent. If there exists a diffeomorphism in a domain and the diffeomorphism in the target space. So diffeo in source space and diffeo in target space such that this holds. Okay. <clears throat> so and the criteria for singularities of max spaces uh again mehara and yamada gave the following criteria let f u be a max space with various as data g and data we set alpha and beta this way this is kind of technical but uh, alpha and beta is determined by g and data okay so p is singular point if and only if the modulus of g equal to one and f is F is right left equivalent to cusp rate at P if and only if both real part of alpha and the imaginary part of alpha are non zero. And F is right left equivalent to a swallow tail at P if and only if alpha is real number, non zero real, and the uh, real part of beta is non zero. And also, uh, F is right to F equivalent to a uh, cusp cross cap at P if and only if alpha is non zero pure imaginary number and beta, imaginary part of beta is non zero. So, this is a kind of uh, useful criteria. So, uh, we can uh, determine the singularity just looking at the Weiss data. And also, uh, Generic singularities of max faces, uh, we can say as follows. Uh, let U be a simply connected domain in C, and H, uh, all U, the homomorphic functions on U. And take, let take H be a homomorphic function on U, and those with a compact open C infinity topology. So we have, we get topology here. And F sub H, uh, max face with Weissler's data, this Weissler's data. Okay, so for an arbitrary compact set K in U, we set uh, S K is a uh, H, which is which is a singular point of F H a cusp H swallow tails or cusp cross caps on K. So then this S K is an open and dense subset of O U. So uh, by this fact, we can say the generic singularities of max faces are uh, cusper edges, swallow tails, or cusper cross caps. So this is a theorem for uh, singularities of max faces. Okay, uh, so let me uh, show the examples of max face. So this is called maximal n uh, We take the same wireless data as maximal, uh, minimal, in the surface. So 
this is maximal end pass surface. Okay. Uh, so in the domain, unit circle corresponds to the um, corresponds to the singular set, and so this is singular set, the image of singular set, and almost all singularities are cusp edges, but there is uh, it, this point is swallow tail. So this is swallow tail, this is swallow tail, this is swallow tail. So we have four swallow tails. And also it is very hard to see, but uh, in the middle of two swallow tails here, this point is actually a cusp cell cross cap. It's very hard to see, it is almost folded, but uh, at this point, so cusp cell edge cross this, so uh, this here we have one Casper cross cap, and here is also Casper cross cap, Casper cross cap, and Casper cross cap. Okay. So any path surface has these three singularities. And also, uh, let me show two more examples. And this is called maximal catenoid. This is the surface of revolution. Uh, yeah, here. So minimal surface case, the, the profile curve is Cauchy curve, but this curve is Shinish curve. Okay. And now in this case, we have a cone-like singularity here, which is I explain uh, next week, the third talk. So, this is not generic singularity in our sense, okay? And also uh, the conjugate surface is uh, helicoid. Uh, here, yes, this is uh, maximal helicoid. And have you seen this? It, it doesn't seem to have singularities. And this is the end of the surface, so this goes to infinity. So, and uh, we have no singularity, but uh, this spiral inside, this spiral is actually singular set. So, uh, in the domain, if I pass through the singular point, then the image, so one goes to, one cross to the singular set, then in the domain, the one passed through the singular, singular point, then in the image, the part one go back to the surface. So actually this is a fold, fold, fold singularity. So actually the map is two to one, okay? Two to one map. So <laughs> we have this kind of singularities right here. And this is a ruled surface, and uh, it is known that that uh, this surface we consider this surface as a surface in R three. Then the mean curvature is uh, still vanishes. So this is uh, minimal surface in R three as well as uh, maximal surface in L three. And uh, Kobayashi, Osamu Kobayashi, proved that uh, plane only plane and helicoid is satisfy such a property. So uh, these are, these satisfy, this surface satisfies uh, helicoid and plane satisfies both maximal surface equation and minimal surface equation. Okay. So uh, I like to go to more complicated example, but uh, okay, I will explain this example, then I will start briefly. Uh, now, a more complicated example. Uh, let M be a uh, sphere minus two points and take G and eta this way, where A is a parameter, parameter uh, between one and four, and it is not equal to two. So then, uh, singular set, we have 
two connected component of singular set, this, this and this. Okay. Ah, actually three, yeah, three component on this line. Then this line, this imaginary axis, this line corresponds to one point, this in the middle, right? This is, this corresponds to cone-like singular set. So this line goes to one point, okay? And here, here uh, we have like any path surface. So this, this singularity corresponds to singularity here in the upper side, upper half. And uh, like uh, as any path surface, we have almost all these uh, cluster edges and four, uh, four swallow, no, sorry, uh, four swallow tails and four cluster cross caps. And this singular set corresponds to the singular set in the, in the lower, lower half. And also we have four, four cluster edges and four swallow tails. Okay, so this surface has a, a cluster edge, swallow tail, cluster cross caps, and cone-like singularities. Okay, uh, so now I would like to go to higher uh, positive genus example, but uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I have a question. Yes. So why did you omit the value two and what happens if you vary the parameter from one to four? Uh, okay. What if, happens to the surface? If, if, if A equal two, then maybe one reduce the equation. The, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why okay. is theta reduce? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and then I don't remember, but <laughs> actually yeah. this, yeah. Uh, because uh, in the minimal surface case, if you took the limits, say A goes to one or A goes to four, yeah, yeah. they still, still remain maximal or? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So I think the period doesn't so solve, but uh, yeah, still remains. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, then we can continue. Okay. To higher genus, yeah, okay. okay. Okay, so uh, now I let me introduce Kim Yang Katnoid. Uh, yesterday I mentioned that there does not exist uh, genus one catenoid in minimal surface as a minimal surface or higher genus catenoid. But uh, in 2006, Kim and Yang, a Korean mathematician, found a complete max space of genus one with two embedded ends. So uh, the wireless data is given this way. So, but unfortunately we cannot see any genus in the picture, but actually topologically this is genus, positive genus. Uh, okay, let me show the picture. So this is genus one catenoid. I cannot see the D genus, but actually this is this genus one catenoid. And so this is one embedded end, and this is another embedded end. And so, and also singular set is uh, consists of two connected components, and one component start from here and from the bottom to the top, and uh, top and go back, go to bottom here and go to top and go bottom. So this is like uh, four gong. And the another component is start from a, the other upside down, just upside down. Okay, from top to bottom to top, bottom, top. So two, two connected component. And each connected component, there is four swallow tails, one, two, uh, three, four. four, four swallow tails. And then between the swallow tails, there is a cluster cross gap. Oops. Okay. 
<coughs> and then in in their paper in their paper uh, they they constructed higher genus version but the higher genus version has branch points and actually this is not a max face but uh, mm, generalized max maximal surface by uh, in the sense of Estudio and Romero so uh, I'd like to uh, so this is a singular set so so the surface is double cover of the plane so this is actually twice wrapping this is twice wrapping so we have four uh, four swallow tails in this component and four swallow tails in this component and two Casper Casper cross cap uh, four four Casper cross caps and four Casper cross caps okay in the domain and I'd like to uh, have a higher genus version of max face and we get this this data so for any k this gives a, a genus k catenoid but unfortunately uh, this case the surface has non embedded end so only genus one case embedded end but genus two or genus greater than or equal to two the surface has non embedded end so but uh, so this is genus two examples and in the computation it must have six swallow tails each other so genus one case four swallow tails in one component and four swallow tails so total eight eight swallow tails and it should have 12 uh, swallow tails and 12 uh, Casper cross caps but in the graphics I could only see six swallow tails see three in the in the upper half and three in the bottom half so I could only see six so it's weird but then I realized that this is a double cover of genus one max face another genus one catenoid so and actually this is true for any even even number genus case so if we assume that uh, k is 2m this means uh, even number k is even number then uh, the wireless data is this way okay and then we let let m m prime uh, be a Riemann surface of genus m and uh, let be, let g1 and eta1 is a wireless data of this on this m bar prime and this pi to be a double cover so then this is double cover without uh, branch branch point and so actually so we have we can reduce this genus 2m case to genus m max face so when k equal 2 this is a genus 1 maximal surface genus 1 catenoid so which is different to the original Kim Yang catenoid. So under any even genus case, we can uh, reduce uh, genus to the half of numbers. So we have two two different genus one catenoids and to both the uh, catenoid uh, topologically genus one minus two points and two embedded ends. Okay. And so, uh, okay, uh, if you have questions, please let me know. Any questions? Okay, let's continue. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, talk about non orientable max space. As I mentioned in the first, uh, space like surface is always orientable but now we allow some singularities so we can have a non-orientable surface so uh, let m prime be a non-orientable surface 
and f prime from map from m prime to l3 is a non-orientable max space if there exists a Riemann surface m and the double cover such that uh, the composition of f prime and pi is a max space. So if we have double cover, which is maximal max space, we say this original f prime is non-orientable max space. And completeness is also is defined as follows. If the double cover is complete, then f prime is complete. Okay, then uh, now uh, let g and eta, the wireless data of f and i, the anti-holomorphic anti order two deck transformation associated to pi. Then like as minimal surface case, this holds for any p. and uh, the lemma. So this holds if and only if the wireless data and the i satisfies these two conditions. So the minimal surface case, we have minus here. So uh, i is the antipodal uh, anti uh, map of antipodal map. But now we have no minus here. So unit circle uh, is invariant under this i. Okay. So this is a big difference. And now we consider the Gauss map of the non-orientable max space. Let f prime be a non-orientable max space, and pi the double cover. And let g be the Gauss map of f this orientable double cover. And we define A, which is a map from CP1 to CP1, so that this. Okay, so again, this A is, uh, the unit circle is invariant under this A, okay? And P0 is a projection of CP1 into the disk quotient space. Okay? In the minimal surface case, P0 is a pro natural projection from S2 to uh, real projective space. But uh, now P0 is this projection, okay? This uh, little white weird projection. Then there exists conformal map G hat from M prime into this quotient space such that this is this um, uh, diagram commute. And so uh, <coughs> this G hat is called the Gauss map of F, F prime, okay? And uh, if F prime is complete, we can define the degree of G hat as uh, uh, degree G hat is equal to degree G, okay? So complete case uh, uh, singularity never goes to the end. So, the, so this means uh, equator, here, equator uh, corresponds to the mm, so singular point, the image of a singular point. So if uh, F prime is complete, then singular set is compact and end does not uh, go to the end. So we can define the degree of G hat. And then uh, we prove that uh, uh, by work, joint work with Lopez. Ah, so uh, let me, I have to say that I know, at least I know uh, two Lopez differential geometer at work in Granada University. So Rafael Lopez, who's supposed to uh, talk in this meeting, uh, is not this person. Uh, so he's Rafael Lopez, and this Lopez is uh, Francisco Lopez. Both are very famous mathematicians, work at Granada University. So uh, this is Francis, Professor Francisco Lopez. And, uh, uh, and he found a minimal crime bottle in 1990s. Okay, so uh, let F prime be a uh, no, no, uh, complete non-orientable max space and G hat, the Gauss map of, of F prime. 
But then uh, we could prove that the degree of g hat is even and greater than two. Okay. So minimal surface case, mix shows that degree and uh, Euler characteristic of m prime hat, m prime bar is a congruent modulo two by modulo two. But in this case, uh, never <laughs> this never be an uh, odd number, always even number. Okay, so uh, let me briefly explain the proof. Let me give outline of the proof. To do this, we apply this lemma. This is proved by Marty Ross, not Antonio Ross, Marty Ross. Uh, let M bar a compact human surface and I antihromic involution with that fixed point. Then there exists H such that the composition of H and I is one minus one over H bar. So uh, we apply this, uh, we, we use this lemma. So we define capital G, the map from M bar into Riemann sphere by GP equal to small g, small g is a gas map of this double cover, and H is this H. Okay, then the composition of G and I is this GH I and G I and times H I and this holds for maximal surface and this holds by this lemma. So we have this. So by mix lemma, the degree G and the Euler characteristic of M bar prime is congruent, are congruent by mod, mod, mod two. Also, this congruent, these are congruent by mod two. So, uh, and since degree of capital G is degree H times plus degree G, uh, so this is, this degree capital G and degree of H are congruent mod two. So, so by this equation, degree of small G must be even. Then degree of G hat is also even. And the, Moreover, it is easy to say, uh, verify that degree G cannot be two. So in this case, we have no, no orientable max phase. So we have this uh, theorem. This is, uh, uh, yeah, big difference from minimal surface case. And uh, let me show uh, examples. So now, maybe a strip. In this case, degree of G hat is at least four and always even number. So the minimal surface, surface case, uh, maybe a strip, uh, degree G is uh, odd, has to be odd number. But in this case, we have even numbers, you know, uh, even degree is always even number and greater than two. So the simplest example is this, okay? So, and, uh, Left hand side, this side, uh, G is branched at the end. And in this case, G is not branched at the end. So, and the minimal surface case, G has to be branched at the end. So this is a similar surface as minimal surface, minimal maybe strip, okay? But degree is different. So this is minimal, uh, maximal maybe strip. And like as minimal surface case, we say that uh, maybe a strip of with degree G equal four with branched G must be this example. This is a unique example is if G is branched at the end. But and the minimal surface case makes sure this is only a minimal surface uh, degree G equal three and G branched at the end and unique. But in maximal surface case, we have another, another uh, maybe strip. Uh, it looks like this. This is very symmetric case, but uh, there is also no such a symmetric case. Uh, actually, we have two parameter family of this kind of surface. If we assume that G is not branched at the end, 
So uh, this is different uh, results from minimal surface case. Okay. And these are the wire source data. The left hand side, G branched at the end. Uh, okay, so on in this right hand side, we have R is real and ST uh, complex number. So we have real five dimension family, but uh, to solve the period problem, we have three equations. No, yes, three equations. And then we have two parameter family of this kind of surface. Also, we could construct one ended crime bot like a minimal surface case. So in this case, uh, like as a minimal surface case, degree, we assume that degree of G hat is four. Then uh, we could construct two different crime bottles. Again, we, we cannot find any genus, unfortunately. But we could find two, we could construct two uh, crime bottle, one ended crime bottle with this property. And we could prove that uh, under the assumption of certain symmetry, there's only two minimal, uh, maximal crime bottle, one ended crime bottle, this degree g equal to four. So uh, the minimal surface case, Lopez uh, proves that there's only one crime bottle. So, but in this case, we have two uh, maximal surface. So this is uh, a different. And these are the YSS data. This data are similar to the one of one-ended crime bottle, minim minimal crime bottle. So the period of problem by using assumption of symmetry, uh, there's one function uh, depends on R and the period solving period problem is the equivalent uh, having the zero of the function. So the, this is a graph of the function. Uh, this, yes. And we see that there are two, two solutions here and here. So this corresponds to the left hand side of the picture and this corresponds to the right hand side of the picture. So, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, this looks like any par, maximal any pass of, but uh, I don't see any genus. But actually, yeah, this is the kind of And so, and the remaining problem, uh, let me explain one problem before I stop my talk. Uh, for minimal surface case, uh, the period the problem is also one equation, one function with one variable, and finding a solution of the function. And Lopez showed that the function is like a monotone function. Then he said he could prove that there's a unique solution. And uh, later, Lopez and Martin, Francisco Martin, uh, constructed higher genus version. Then the function, it's a bit changed, of course, and uh, the graph shifted a little bit, bit by bit, uh, by changing the genus. But then, but still, always each function has one solution. But in this case, we have this kind of curve, and we considered higher genus version. Then the graph sh shifted lift by little by bit by changing genus. So then. <laughs> It happens that some genus we have two solutions, but some genus we have no solution. So something weird happened, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, so this is different point. Okay, so uh, I stopped here. Thank you very much. So if you have any questions or comments, any questions? I had a few questions. Yes. So again, uh, 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 for maximal surfaces, uh, any genus and any number of punctures uh, is uh, possible. But uh, for non-orientable, can one say anything? 
singularities now? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. No orientable case. So genus, degree of genus, uh, degree yes, of G yes. must be, yeah. But yes, logically, uh, I think topologically, any genus, any number of ends, uh, we can construct no orientable, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. No, no, okay. no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they, okay covering method so we uh, sim simple uh, no orientable surface and take a suitable double cover so then topologic as uh, suitable covering then this is topologically a uh, very complicated genus uh, and and so actually the resulting surface is very simple but uh, mm. one can <laughs> very complicated uh, covering I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, do you see fold singularities in non non orientable uh, maximal surfaces? Uh, these are cusp. I see cusper edge swallow tails and cusper cross caps. Okay, the general yeah. points. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. yes. I see. And I had one more question. When you yes. change the parameters, like a or r. And you took limits for minimal surfaces. The periods changed, right? I mean, from from singly periodic, it became. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so here, do you see any such uh, um, phenomena? Yes, yes, uh, yeah. Today we only uh, introduce uh, the period of solved, uh, but uh, yeah. uh, next next week I will explain some periodic surface and uh, okay. as a limit okay. uh, period change. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great. Thanks. Yeah. Any other questions? Comments? Let me see if somebody has posted anything in the chats. So uh, once again, uh, if there are no questions, let's thank Shoichi again for this wonderful much. talk. Thank you and very much. Uh, yeah, so it'll all be recorded so you can go back and uh, see it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. So we, see, we meet again on 15th. 14th, there are two talks, but uh -huh. Shoichi's talks are going to be on 15th. Okay. Last talk. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank, okay. you. thank you very much. Yeah.